Dan Parker, uh, farm in Livingston and Grundy counties. Uh, Dwight is our main uh, address where we live. We've got two kids that are in high school, two girls, a sophomore and a senior. So when we're not busy farming, we're busy uh, working with those guys. Yeah, grew up on a farm and then went to school at the uh, University of Illinois, crop science. And started working for seed in the seed industry after after college. So I moved up to Wisconsin for a while and then out to Ohio and moved back to Illinois in 2004. And uh, kind of helped our family farm whatever I could uh, when I wasn't working and then started full time farming in 2019. Yeah, we planted uh, our beans the last week of April and then our corn right after that so first part of may first week and a half of may or so we planted our corn so we've been planting harvesting beans for the last uh, week or so and uh, switched over to corn yesterday to try to get some of our wet fields done before the rain it's supposed to rain two to three inches here at the end of the week so wanted to get our corn out of our wetter fields before we had to fight the mud it's going really good actually i think our bean yields are surprising us I thought they would be lower than last year, and actually, so far, uh, a little bit higher than last year in Livingston County. Probably about where we, where we thought they were going to be in Grundy. A little bit lower. Yeah, corn harvest is going pretty well, but we just started with it yesterday. It's also going pretty smooth so far, but one problem we did have was our fan on our bin. Uh, it worked when I tried it. We got the bin ready to go, but then after we filled the bin and I went to turn it on, uh, the fan was not working right, and it was pretty old. Uh, I think there was a wire that must have broke inside of it, but just figures that it uh, worked fine until we filled it up and then it wouldn't turn on, so we had to get that, get that fixed and take care of it. Other than that, it's been, been a pretty smooth fall. Well, the farmer working at now we call the downhill farm. When we first started farming it was, there's big hills in the in the back and there's valleys so you can be way up high on the hill or you can be down in the valley where you can't even see that you're out there from the road. So we're trying to think of what to call it and we ended up calling it the downhill farm. And at the same time we were building our shop and spending a lot of time putting the office and the kitchen and, and all the shop tools in there and getting it set up the way we wanted it. It seemed like every time we got close to being done with one part of the project, we'd say it's downhill from here. And then we'd finish that and we'd start another one and it was taking forever and kept going on and on. And we kept saying, well, it's downhill from here and it would never, never get done. And when we were on this farm, the first year farming it, we came up to about 100 feet left of the corn to go. And my brother-in-law got on the radio and said, oh, it's downhill from here, and right then the combine broke. <laughs> the, there was a shaft that broke on the feeder, and we had to stop for the night. And couldn't finish the field, they had to go back to the shop and, and mold that back together and come out the next morning and finish it. So, if it's one thing you're not going to hear us say, it's, uh, it's downhill from here, because usually that means it's, something's going to happen and it's not going to get done. 